Hello, my name is Kevin Bosgaz. Today is day 14 of 21 days of prayer and fasting. And I wanna say congrats. If you've made it this far and you're still sticking with us, I hope that the devotionals and prayer and fasting have helped you grow closer and closer to God. Today's topic is a reflection that in Jesus, we are no longer condemned. Now, not that any one way is better, but I like these devotional videos that are recorded on webcams or phones uh, because it really feels like an intimate one-on-one -on -one conversation with the speaker. And our Father in Heaven often meets us in similar intimate moments, and I'd like to share one of mine with you today. Last year around Easter, my wife and I decided to replace and rebuild the old dilapidated grape trellis uh, for the grapevine in our backyard, and we were going to extend it from one side of the fence to the other. And so like a lot of you homeowners, I took a trip to good old Home Depot and I went to pick up my supplies. And I like to, I tend to over-engineer things, but uh, this time I picked up several 10-foot pressure-treated 4x4s. And uh, I tell you that detail because they're fairly heavy pieces of lumber, especially when you're retrieving them from the top of a lumber rack on top of a canopy on a truck bed that's lifted. So everything was going fine when I was unloading until one of the posts slipped off the rack, tumbled down and crashed right onto my shoulder. And that high heavy load caused a flood of pain through my shoulder and into my back. But in that moment, I felt reminded during that season, during Easter, I was reminded of Jesus who also shouldered a heavy wooden post. Now the significance of his was much greater than just some backyard project. Because of also Jesus' perfect life and his death, his sacrifice on the cross and his resurrection, Paul wrote in Romans 8, because of those things, therefore there is now no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. He released us from a life of sin and guilt and shame. Now if you're like me, because of your flesh, because of our flesh, it's hard to remember and days go by. We go to work, we take kids to school, we come home, make dinner, routine sets in, and we fall back into sin. Whatever that besetting sin might be, it just comes back. We, then the guilt and the, saint, the shame set in. We feel guilty because we say to ourselves, well, I'm redeemed, I was saved, Jesus is in my life, why am I still doing this? Now, can I say, Guilt and condemnation are not the same thing. If you feel guilty because of what you did, and hopefully that's you're feeling personally guilty, not because of what someone said, someone guilting you. And if you feel guilty naturally, good. Uh, repent, come back to Jesus. We aren't promised to walk sinless after following Jesus. We just are promised to be blameless because of him. And we should certainly strive towards going and sinning no more, but none of us can accomplish that, thus our necessary Savior. Have you ever had someone pay for your dinner at a restaurant? And when you go to ask the server for the check, they might say, oh, it's taken care of. When God looks at us to pay the bill, he doesn't see the debtor to condemn. He sees Jesus who paid it all. Now, in my moment of distress and pain, I felt reminded that when I sin, uh, don't go feel guilty and try to carry that on my own. I can't DIY my sin away. As you can tell, I like to DIY. I'm in my garage shop. One of the points in your, your packet today um, Number three in prayer contemplation says, ask the Holy Spirit to illuminate ways you rely on self-sufficiency and allow him to bring corrective healing to those areas. And I know I need that every day of my life. You can't carry this heavy load of sin on your own. If I try, if we try to carry that weight, we will fail. It'll be like that four by four post. It'll come crashing down. In my pain, I also felt um, if I'm having issues with this physical, 
post, my sin is greater. So how great and powerful Jesus is, not to just take on a physical cross, but spiritually to take just my own sin, which alone would have been heavy enough, but the sin of the world. And because of his death on the cross, sin also died. And because of his sacrificial offering, we have atonement. Because he took the punishment, rightfully ours, we are no longer condemned. Let's pray. <clears throat> Father in heaven, thank you that when you look at us, you see Jesus. Jesus, thank you for your sacrifice, your death on the cross, your resurrection, your perfect life. Because of those things, we can be promised, we have hope that we can live with you someday. That we can be joyous in this life because we are no longer condemned. We don't owe anything when we are in you. For those that are not in you, Lord, I ask that they be encouraged to follow after you, to submit themselves to you. We thank you. We love you. And we ask that you continue to encourage us with this healing. Pray all these things in Jesus' name.